Hello my primary friends. Long time no see. Today we have a special singing time. We are going to go on a little journey around the world and we will discover how different countries celebrate New Year's. You'll need one thing for today's singing time. This world map. I've attached it to your email and also it's a link on the show description below this video. Please print out this map so that you can follow along and look at the countries we'll be traveling to as we learn more about different cultures and what they like to do to bring in the new year. I'm so glad that you're here today. Let's get going. The first country we're going to is Denmark. Can you find it on your map? It is way up here and it's yellow. Can you see it on your map? In Denmark, to celebrate the new year, people gather broken dishes and they throw them and smash them on the doorsteps of their friends. And it's good luck if you open your door and your porch is filled with broken dishes. Go figure. Let's sing a song um, together and watch a video of this song. Do as I'm doing. And you can pretend that you are throwing dishes and breaking them as you sing, do as I'm doing. Let's go to England next. Let's see if we can find it on our map. England is actually a big island and it's right there. It's kind of close to Denmark. In England, families clean their houses to kind of make a clean slate for the new year. There's a primary song about this called Saturday and it goes like this. Saturday is a special day. It's the day we get ready for Sunday. And in the song we talk about or we sing about cleaning and everything. So that's the song that we're going to sing for England. We're going to clean our house to start fresh for the new year. Saturday is a special day. It's the day we get ready for Sunday.
Also in England, when they hear church bells ring, and there's lots of big churches in England, and they all have bells that they play uh, throughout the day. And when they hear those bells uh, for New Year's, people in England will open their doors to let the good luck in. And I like that idea. Sometimes I can hear bells in our neighborhood from the church down the road from us. And it's, it's such a pretty sound to hear. Well, let's sing a song about opening our doors. Now let's go to Ireland. Do you see Ireland on your map? It's very close to England. It is kind of like right next door. It's a tiny island next to England, and it's Ireland. In Ireland, they believe that if your first visitor of the New Year is a tall, dark man, if a tall, dark-haired man knocks on your door, that is good luck for your new year. Let's sing the primary song, Hello, Hello, Hello. I'll put the video on right now and sing along with it. For this part of our trip, we are going to two countries, Italy and France. Both of those countries are in Europe and they're right next to each other, not far away from England and Ireland. If you look on your map really closely, it's, they're tiny. There's a skinny country, it's yellow, and that is Italy. And there's a country right next to it, and that is France. In both Italy and France, people like to give each other gifts for the new year. One of the best gifts that we can give is the gift of friendship and showing kindness and love to one another. Let's sing the song, We Are Different, because it's all about being friends, even if you might be a little different from each other.
Now we're off to a teeny, teeny, tiny country called Belgium. And that's going to be a really hard one to find on your map. You see that there's a big box below here with numbers and the names of countries. Look at number two. What does it say? It says Belgium. So let's look for number two on the map because it's so teeny tiny they couldn't fit the name of it on this map. And it's also in Europe and it is right above France. Teeny, teeny, tiny. And it's a, it's a beautiful country with fabulous chocolate, Belgian chocolate. Maybe you've heard of that. Well, in Belgium, they do something that I don't think you should try at home. In Belgium, kids sneak all of the keys to the house. And then on New Year's, they lock their parents out and won't unlock the door until they receive a gift. Do not try this at home. It does not go well, I can guarantee. <laughs> My kids have locked me out of the house a couple of times and I was not amused at all. This is a great time to sing a song about obeying your parents. It's a primary song called Quickly I'll Obey. So remember, don't try this at home. Don't hide the keys and lock your parents out. Now let's go to Africa and a country within Africa called Zimbabwe. Let's look on our map and see if we can find Zimbabwe. Hmm, this is Africa right here and Zimbabwe is going to be a little south, well a lot south, and it is right there on your map, Zimbabwe. In Zimbabwe, people like to get together with friends and family and eat and laugh and have a lot of fun on New Year's. It's a big family and friend celebration. Let's watch a video of different primary songs that are all about families. Because what he wants is 
That was a fun visit to Zimbabwe. Let's travel north again and go back to Europe and visit a country called Germany. Let's see if we can find that on the map. So we know we're going north of Zimbabwe all the way back up here. And there is the country, Germany. Do you see it on your map? Well, in Germany, there's an old tradition where people on New Year's Day like to live like they would like to live for the rest of the year. So if I were to live my New Year's Day like I want to live the rest of the year, I would make sure that I brushed and flossed my teeth every, after every meal. I would drink lots of water. I would eat all of my vegetables. I would exercise and I would read my scriptures and I would go on a walk through the neighborhood and I would just give everybody hugs and tell them, I love you. So that's, that's what I would do. I wonder what you would do if you were to live your New Year's Day like you want to be for the rest of the year. It's like being the best you that you can be. Let's sing a song called When I Am Baptized. A lot of you probably know this. I like to look for rainbows. It's about getting baptized. And when we're baptized, we start fresh and we're super duper clean. And it's like a total new beginning. And that's how we can think of New Year's too. It's a, it's a new beginning. Let's take a short jaunt over to Ukraine. It is right here. It was also once part of Russia. And I served a mission in Ukraine and back then we spoke Russian. And on New Year's Day, people would say, um, Happy New Year's. And this is how you say it in Russian. Snovim Godom. Snowflum Goldum is what we would say to people. Happy New Year. I have a friend in the Ukraine who sent me a special gift. My friend Vita, short for Victoria, she made this doll. And in the Ukraine, they wear pretty flower wreaths on their hair for a traditional costume at certain times of the year. When I see this dolly on my bookshelf every day, I think of Vita and her mother and how often we felt the Spirit together as we talked about the Gospel. Let's sing a song, a primary song, about sharing the Gospel. And you don't have to go on a mission to share the Gospel. You can share the Gospel every day. Every one of us is a missionary. I want to be a missionary now I don't want to wait until I'm grown I want to share the gospel while I'm young For I have a testimony of my own I want to tell my friends about our church And the happiness it brings to me I'll tell them how the gospel has restored Mormon came to be. Then I can be a missionary now. I don't have to wait until I'm grown. I'll live each day the best that I know how, and they'll see I have a testimony of my own. A testimony. 
let's go to our next stop on our journey. We're going to Spain. Can you see that on your map? It's kind of close to where we just were in Germany. Um, it is right there. It's colored green on our map. Spain is the name of the country. And in Spain, they speak Spanish. In Spain, for each stroke of the clock, the ding, dong, dong, they will eat 12 grapes because at midnight it starts the new year. Do you know how to count to 12 in Spanish? Let's see. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, once, doce. I think I said that right. Heavenly Father loves that we speak different languages he, and he understands all of the different languages. Let's sing a song called Children All Over the World. It's one of my favorite primary songs. Okay, let's go to Japan now. Hmm, can you find it on your map? Let's see, it's kind of close to China and China's close to Russia. So here we have Russia and China and there's Japan, it's an island. In Japan, they give money to the kids. Parents will uh, put money in a decorated envelope and give it to their children. And how much money you get is kind of according to how old you are. Um, so I would get a lot of money because I'm a lot older than a lot of you. Well, than all of you. <laughs> I can understand that in Japan it's about decorated paper because I have a friend, Chizuko, in Japan, and she sends me the most beautiful cards, and she always makes the envelopes look so pretty. Chizuko once sent me this card, and it has a pretty little um, dragonfly that can float along, and the card opens like that. It's so pretty. And she always puts special pretty stamps and lots of pretty stickers and washi tape. She just really knows how to make it look so special. And I just love all of the stamps that she puts on the envelopes this year for Christmas time. There's bunny rabbits on the envelope and a mousy as the stamp. And on the back of it, little Santa Claus stickers. So I can understand why in Japan, something pretty and paper is part of the New Year's tradition. I want to show you a video of a group, a singing group from Japan, singing with a choir here in the United States, singing I am a child of God in Japanese and in English.
For today we are all children of our Heavenly Father and he's excited for us to have a new year and he loves every single one of us no matter where we live because we are all his children we are all brothers and sisters 2020 was kind of a different rough year 2021 will be better and as long as we have Jesus Christ and we have each other it will be wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me today. I love you. Mwah.